leave them idle, so we too will not be idle. Each one of us will do what is required to win the total victory. Lord, you have never disappointed. No, will you do it this time? So Lord, we stand in the gap for Ghana, and we say the whole nation will come out of this thing stronger than before, more united than before. Oh Lord, we will see ourselves as one nation with a common destiny, worshiping you, the eternal God, through Jesus Christ, whom to know is eternal life. Father, you who hear prayer, we come and we say, Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come unto you because we pray in no other name than the name that is above all names, even Jesus Christ, your son and our risen Lord and Savior with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the world. The Reverend Eastwood Anava. Oni yaneti nuye. Oni yaneti nuye. Nyami tufu. Oni yaneti nuye. Nyami tufu. Oni yaneti nuye. Everlasting Father, we ask now. We pray unto you, our God, for your mercy and the demonstration of your power. We pray in the name of Jesus for the civil, secular powers you, you are put in the world. Give unto them wisdom and courage. We pray for the ecclesiastical powers that you have instituted on the earth. Grant unto them supernatural insight and release upon them divine power. It is your word that said in the book of Revelation 11, the verse number 6, that unto the two witnesses you gave power to shut the heavens that it will not rain. And you granted unto them also the power to turn waters into blood. You also gave them the power to bring upon the earth plagues as often as they would. And if they could bring down plagues, and if they can bring down plagues, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will anoint the ecclesiastical powers and unctions around the world, those that are called men of God, those that are called women of God, those that are called children of God, for the earnest expectation of the creature awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. And we ask in the name of Jesus that the sons of God will be manifested. Amen. That power will be given unto us. If the two witnesses have power to bring plagues upon the earth, we pray that you will anoint our spirits, anoint our minds, anoint, O oh God, the mouths of the ecclesiastical powers on earth to remove this plague from the earth. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth is also loosed in heaven. We shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. So we pray, dear Father, for courage to come into the corridors of the church, into the corridors of the kingdom of God. Right now we ask in the name of Jesus for the manifestation of the sons of light. We also ask, dear Father, in Jesus' name, for our scientists around the whole world. Give unto them knowledge and force speed behind them. That, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, remedies will be found, and quickly also. We pray in the name of Jesus for nature. We pray for the skies, the sea, the ground, the heavens, the waters, that nature will unite to resist this virus, yes. but not to cooperate with the virus. We pray that the elements of nature, 
the substances of nature, even the air of nature will rise up and fight against this virus. And we pray nature will not cooperate with it. We ask that the economies of the world will be resilient, robust, and viable enough to withstand the virus. Father, we pray for families. We ask in the name of Jesus that on our doorpost will be the blood of the Lamb. And when the angel of destruction shall come, he will pass over. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, let God decree from heaven upon this virus, it is enough. It is enough. We ask that this plague will stop. Let heaven stop it. And on earth, we agree with heaven that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth is loose in heaven. Eternal Father, unto you be glory and honor. We ask in the name of Jesus that the world will be empowered to win this battle and you receive the glory. Unto you be glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Rejoice. you the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I invite the right Reverend Paul Waffle for the benediction. To God our help be made his fast, who has been our hope for the years to come. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, for our existence, for our creation, for us as a nation, for us as your people. You are in guarded, are your sons and daughters who know you by your name, the name that is above all, the name that